Hello and welcome to another video. If you're looking for all things Forza, then this is the place. Today we're gonna put the newest addition to Forza Horizon 5, the 2021 McLaren 765LT against the 2013 Lamborghini Veneno. We're gonna do a drag race and take lap times. But first, let's take a look at some specs and information for both the cars. First up, it is the McLaren 765LT. It belongs to the McLaren Super Series. The LT stands for long tail, and only 765 of these were ever made. Even the power output is 765 horsepower, and with that power, this is the most powerful long tail McLaren ever made. And what makes it the most powerful McLaren? It is the fact that this is being powered by a 4 liter twin turbo V8. It is based on the McLaren 720S. It is much lighter than the 720S, also it has 25% more downforce. It does 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, which is tenth of a second faster than the 720S. But it isn't faster than the 720S with a top speed of 330 km an hour. At this point, I wonder why does it not do a top speed of 765 km an hour, since 765 is a very significant number for this car. But that would be unrealistic. Also, the McLaren 765LT isn't made for top speed. Yes, it is more aerodynamic than the 720S, but those aerodynamics weren't meant to make it faster than the 720S. It is more track focused and also focused around the driver. And then there is this Lamborghini from 2013, the Lamborghini Veneno. It is one of the world's most expensive cars with a price tag of 4 million US dollars and it was developed to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Italian automaker Lamborghini. Based on the Lamborghini Aventador, the Veneno has a 6.5 liter V12 that produces 740 horsepower, the front of the car is designed for maximum airflow and to make it as aerodynamic as possible. This car's design also focuses on generating more downforce. It is mid-engine and all-wheel drive and does 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds, a top speed of 356 km an hour on a 7-speed automated manual. Some of the specs look better for the McLaren, while the others look better for the Veneno. But do remember this, this car came out 8 years before the McLaren. Now we're gonna do the drag race in the McLaren 765LT and then we're going to compare it to the time of the Lamborghini. Here we go. I hit the limiter, I hit the limiter, that is going to cost me time. A few points of a second. Oh, that stock car is so fast but it doesn't matter because we're comparing the time to the Lamborghini. There is the finish line and the McLaren did it in 17.518 seconds. And now it is time for the Lamborghini Veneno. Here we go. We are next to two Lamborghini Centenarios. The Veneno is all-wheel drive already in the first place. I didn't hit the limiter and that is the finish line let's see the time the Veneno did it in 17.75 seconds now we are here at the track for a lap time the McLaren won the drag race despite hitting the limiter which slowed it down now we're gonna use launch control here we go and here is the beginning of the lap. Here comes the first corner. Is there going to be oversteer? This is rear wheel drive with a lot of power. Oh, wheel spinning. It is getting out of control. Whoa, it is mind-blowingly fast. OK. 
Okay, handles so well. Went out of control. Here comes the sharp turn. Okay, now that was beautifully controlled. This car is fun to drive. It feels so fast. It feels scary. But at the same time, it is very easy to handle. It does what you want it to do. Here comes the last corner. Don't hit the wall. And across the line. The McLaren did it in 1 minute 2. 0.12 seconds and now it is time for the veneno we're going to use launch control here we go that is the beginning of the lap let's see how this all-wheel drive Lamborghini performs on the track here comes the first corner goes a bit wide It should handle better than the McLaren because it's all-wheel drive. But also it is 8 years older. Need to slow down here. Okay, that was better. This could be a very close contest. Here comes the sharp turn. No problems in the Lamborghini. And now we are on to the second to last straight. Here comes the final corner. No trouble and across the line. It did it in 1 minute 2.66 seconds. That was a very close contest. But the McLaren 765 LT is the clear winner here. I like the car. It looks amazing and it drives amazingly. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching it then click on the like button. Subscribe for more Forza Horizon 5 videos. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you're doing well.